Hello YouTube. Well this video is a little different. I would like to do a better job at knowing Dreamweaver. Now here's the thing. I created websites before but I did them a little differently a few years ago. I understand what CSS is. I also learned the same difference in mainframes with CICS. Was it CICS? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Anyways, you know, it's just the code that makes it look pretty, the colors, how things are situated, that has nothing to do with functionality. But here's the thing. Today, websites are so dysfunctional. So I go into this with kind of the wrong attitude, which I'm trying to alleviate. But they are so dysfunctional. Let's see. Pick something. Oh, it's Reddit. We don't want Reddit. Um, no, let's see. Let's pick something else. Try to find something that kind of shows what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I can't find anything, right? So, hmm, I'm drawn to sites that work correctly. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. I really, 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 really want to make some nice websites. <laughs> this is so funny. Elon Musk is hilarious now. I don't know about him. Anyways. Back to... Dreamweaver 20, 2019. I think I don't even think they updated it actually. Um, I don't want to click help because they have my personal information in there. So what I'm going to do is move this over because I don't feel like editing. And I'm going to pick, now here's the thing also, when I pick this tutorial, okay, so I pick the Dreamweaver tutorial, well, the guy that does a tutorial, he's really good, but he's really good at what he does. He's not really good, I don't believe, at helping someone be a, you know, in the beginner stage. He's more in the experience stage. He will tell you how quickly and easily you can do this and do that real fast and it'll work and this look how it just brings in all the lists and this wait a minute why don't you explain what like I learned how to code I took programming classes I learned how to code in college and you what you learn is you learn how it actually works after you learn how it works, then you can take the shortcuts because you then you know how to read it, what you're looking at. 
but you don't do the shortcuts as soon as you begin learning. So his teaching just goes way too fast. So what I'm going to do, here's another idea. I can go in the user guide. What I could do there, and he's in there too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, then it goes into more videos. I really want to do more step-by-step -step in the uh, You know in the not in videos I want to work with oh, Shoot this user guy. I can't believe this is only Hmm Oh, learn and support. Step by step that are written assignments is what I want. Learn the basics and start your first project. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Installing. Okay, I already did that. Uh, I don't need any of that. Now, if you want to know the system requirements, let's click on that for a second. <coughs> It's not a lot, you know, it's no big deal when it comes to today's systems. So we have two cores, AMD Athlon 64, you know, two gigahertz or faster, which is just about everything. Windows 10 minimum, two gig RAM, wow, that's tiny, four gig recommended. I would never want to have anything with only 4 gig. I have 64 gig, thank you. Hard disk space, 2 gig available hard disk space. Uh, 12 by 10, ooh. 16 bit video card. I mean, this is really low end type of stuff here. So it doesn't, what this means is it doesn't take that much to use, you know, Dreamweaver. And here's Mac, which I don't have. Okay. And they have several languages. It comes in several languages. Okay. Now, let's go back up. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Okay. Now, get started. Web development using Dreamweaver. An overview. Okay, this is an article. That's what I want. I'm yawning. Sorry. This is just going to be a video. Okay, helps you understand how you can complete various stages or phases of web development. Yeah, I know, they have wireframing and this and that. We used to call wireframing, uh, you know, pseudocode, uh, pretty much. You just, you know, design what you want. However, when you start making a website or creating anything, for that matter, um, you know, it'll change as you create it. It's a work of art. So, and I hate JavaScript, but, you know, okay. All right, I will learn to deal with it. The first stage in web development is the planning stage in which you analyze the audience needs, technical and marketing requirements. Hmm. You also gather necessary information required for designing and publishing your website and have answers for questions like some of these. Which service provider do I choose for hosting the website? Do I have access to upload files to the publishing server? Oh my, how old is this? What domain name is to be used for the website? Look at how this... What domain name is to be... What's my domain name? Okay, in case you are migrating existing websites into Dreamweaver, where are the files and assets stored currently?
Do I have access to the server where this information is stored? You better. If you want a dynamic website, which server can I use to test if data is being displayed dynamically? Probably a virtual or dedicated, one or the other, not shared. Do I have the details of the web application server, application server, that I want to use for loading dynamic data? It, dynamic data means like interactive, like users are going to be inputting something and something's going to come back out and they're going to interact with the website. And that might even mean, you know, playing videos or something or uploading videos or it could be anything. Um, podcasts, I don't know, anything. What kind of assets are required for the website? Uh, will these be asset design, assets designed from scratch? If the assets are already available, do I have access to them? What apps do I want to use for designing assets? Do I plan to create a responsive website? Well, yeah, you have to do that. Assume that you have a clear understanding of the website you want to develop and how and where you want to host it and have chosen Dreamweaver and Creative Cloud for the web development process. Proceed to the next step. Whew. <laughs> okay. Check if you have all the assets required for your website. Gather and organize them together in your local folders or in Adobe Creative Cloud libraries. Okay. Three, create a new document in Dreamweaver using a new blank document. Starter templates packaged with Dreamweaver or template files DWT created by someone else. If you are not familiar with Dreamweaver or just learning web development starter, templates are great help in getting you up and running with designing web pages. Even if you're planning to start from scratch, it is a good idea to peek a little into these pages to understand the elements of a good web page design. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick one of those and see, you know, I'm, I'm going to be very scrutinizing. Uh, <clears throat> four, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with Dreamweaver Workspace. Find a workspace you are comfortable with and set a color theme. Reorganize the different panels in a, diff in a way that suits you. Uh, set up your site in Dreamweaver. Set about creating a folder structure with files and assets. After you've organized your information and determined a structure, you can begin creating your site. At this stage, it is a good idea to also set up connections to remote servers and set up testing servers if you have dynamic content. Again, VPS or uh, dedicated servers will be best. Okay, so start coding your web page in code view or designing them in design live view. All right, so yeah, so let's go before we go any further. I am going to bring Dreamweaver back over here like this. And we are going to go in here. We're going to go file and we're going to say new. And I want to find a template. Oh, look at that. There they are. I still don't know much about, I don't know anything about bootstrap. That I want to learn more about. Something I don't know about. Okay, there's site templates, no items, and there's starter templates. Hmm. Okay, bootstrap templates. Hmm. Email templates and responsive starters. Basic layouts about blog e commerce. Not very much. They don't give you much. Preferences. Oh yeah. I went through all of this already. Took a look at it. I'll have to take a look at it again later. So let's go back here. 
starter templates. Okay, basic layout. I always want to look at everything. So there's basic, there's multi column, one, two, three, four. Okay, simple grid, one, two, three, four. And single page. There's still one, two, three, four. I don't like this big header. I'm going to create this for a second. Okay, because I got to take a look at this. Design live. Look, why is this big thing necessary? What does it do besides take up a bunch of space? Uh, there's, I don't understand. Who thought of this? Who decided that it's right to put this great big huge monstrosity on top of a web page? Hero. Hero header. BS. That is no good. And this is all capital letters. Ooh. Yeah, no. That's a waste of space. It really is. You have all this gray or whatever color it might be or image or whatever it is. And then the characters, the letters, the font. What you actually want to read is teeny tiny compared to this great big space. It's such a waste. That's what I don't like. And that's why I do want to learn all of this because I want to learn how they set this up so that I can get rid of it. <laughs> the more I learn about it, the more I can get rid of it later. Because I have looked and looked and looked in all the, um, you know, code. Because I know how to right click and, uh, let's see, when you right click, what do you do? It's called uh, View Page Source, yeah which is also control U. So I know how to do all that and check everything out, but I don't know why they did this and all of that. I don't really know JavaScript and I don't know some other things that they've done now. So, <sighs> so anyways, that's where I'm at. So I got to practice a little more and uh, check this out. Hmm, I see, okay, they put that in my thing, area, okay, all right, so, anyways, I'm going to start here, figure out how to get rid of this, this is called, this great big monster thing is called, hero header okay that's what that is I don't know why hero section so what you want to do what I want to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to <clears throat> do that let me see Can I do that? I have to do that on every page, every line. Ah! I thought I could. No. Yep. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. Oh, I could put the dot. That's what I forgot. I'm tired. I've been up for many, many hours. I have an appointment at 11 and 6 a.m. I have. I. I don't sleep anymore. Look at that. I wonder if I can. Hold on, see if I can do the whole paragraph. Oh, yeah, there we go. We did the whole paragraph. Yay. Okay, so that got rid of it and brought everything up. So now this is the top of the page. Not that big monster. Okay, now this says hero, which I don't want. So I just want home. So that symbol means page. 
some sword. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, I'm very excited to get rid of that. I don't like that at all. And, you know, there's websites like well, this one, which I love. I love, love, love Linode. Okay. They don't need that great big conglomerate crap up there. I could even close that. And look at that. Perfect. Very nice. Everything is spaced real nice. You can read these very nicely. Click on the... Like that. You know? I mean very well developed and designed site even though you have these big boxes it's very very um, even you know the text size to the space around it very very nice perfect this is the kind of design every website should have not too overwhelming with something moving around in the background that makes your head spin. <laughs> you know, this is perfect. So that's what I'm talking about. All right. So anyways, back to Dreamweaver. So, oh, look at this. They got all this crap here. What is that? Oh no, what is this? Oh, see this great big huge junk, another hero thing. Oh my gosh, parallax. What is that? Why do you need that banner? You don't need it. It's useless. It takes up a lot of space. There we go, yeah. All right, all right, so now we take that out of there. Oh, another one. There's another one. Another banner. No, not the button, the banner. Footer, banner. Let me see here. Why is it so huge? Footer section, footer banner. Uh, it's a class. Okay. Class is going to have a bunch of stuff in it. And you don't need none of that stuff. So, but uh, let's see. Footer banner section. Hero header. Same thing all over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I will. Yeah, check these out <laughs> and butcher them up, right? Anyways, that's Dreamweaver, where I'm just kind of playing with it. And my opinion, nobody has to like it, that's fine. So I'm going to say goodbye and have a nice day. <laughs> Talk to you later, bye!